Is there anything I need to do with my business before the end of the tax year on 5th of April 2017? Uh, we're talking UK here. Now this is the time of year that accountants and financial advisors get very excited. They're also quite busy often. However, it's all to do with tax allowances, which I know sounds really boring, but it's essentially the government's way of encouraging us to do things like savings and pensions and you know, other things like that. So before you glaze over and switch off, I've made it as simple as possible so that you can start your journey of understanding these things because they are important and will provide for your financial future. And let's face it, most of us don't get up in the morning going, yay, let's sort out our savings and pensions and tax allowances. Oh, how exciting. So simple, clear, let's go. So I've got a crib sheet because I don't want to miss anything today. So if you bring home to you, so if you bring home to you less than 11,000 from all your jobs and businesses, so that's 11,000 pounds, here's my suggestions to consider. Firstly, putting some money in an emergency savings account, putting some money away for emergency savings. Secondly, to check your eligibility for the state pension. Now, before you just go and dismiss it, uh, you only need 30 years of national insurance now to be eligible. And if you're self-employed, it's actually a really good investment and one that's probably going to change in a few years. So it's worth looking at this year. So this is the one thing I'd recommend you do out of all the other things is to get a statement from uh, the government on where you are with your state pension. Uh, you can go to www.gov.uk or just search on the internet. In fact, if you go to my website, I'll put all the links on the written blog there, which is jennybracelin.co.uk. So check out your state pension because it's um, a very good investment, particularly when you're self-employed. And thirdly, they've got this um, married couples allowance. I know it sounds archaic. It was brought in by David Cameron and not a lot of people know about it. And it will give you 220 pounds a year. So it's worth considering. You can just apply online and you're eligible if one partner is earning less than 11,000 pounds and one partner is earning over 11,000 pounds. I know, but you know, you want to know these things, don't you? Okay. So that's easy, isn't it? So if you're earning 11,000 pounds or less, look at those. Now, if you're earning 11,000 pounds or more, then I've got a few more tips to include. Now, the more you earn, the more important these things are to look at. So back to the savings again. It's more important that you have emergency savings, but when you earn over 11,000, then you want to put it into an individual savings account or ISA. So you'll probably see lots of TV advertising and print advertising now saying, use your ISA allowance. And what it is, is that it's a place to put savings where we don't get taxed. So well worth doing if you pay tax. So that's an ISA. In fact, the government started a new lifetime ISA. So if you're under 40, to encourage young people to save, look at that because that's even better than a standard ISA. I know, they, they love their jargon, three-letter acronyms. The second thing is a personal pension. So again, it's incredibly tax efficient to put money in a pension. Uh, the government actively wants us to do it. And once you start earning over 11,000, and definitely if you get to 43,000, you want to be putting money in a pension and providing for your future in some way or other. Would recommend a financial advisor here or starting off with one of the simple ones. Again, check out dove.gov. .co.uk. Okay, and the last one actually is a business one, which is that if you're about to make an expensive purchase anyway, it can be worth looking at whether to do it this side of the year tax, this in this, or the, this side of the tax year or the other side of the tax year. No, that's still not on today. This side of the year end or the other side of the year end so that your your big purchase goes into this tax year or next tax year. Accountants get quite excited about that, um, but only if you're going to do it anyway. So that's it. Not perhaps as complicated as you thought. And as I say, we never wake up thinking, mm, let's do the really complicated stuff. But it is worth that I definitely wanted on this blog, as well as including the exciting things, to cover some of the more difficult things that people avoid, put off and generally, yeah. So 
the action for the end of the year is, well, there's nothing you have to do, but providing for your financial future is highly recommended. And so take one action today towards you know, your future. Put some money in savings, sort of definitely get a pension statement. Thank you very much for watching this. I have much respect for you watching um, these videos, particularly when they're about more difficult subjects. Thank you very much.